Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how to create a rule so that the testing team gets notified or any of the tester who has reported a particular defect gets notified whenever the defect is moved to ready for test state. Okay, so let's quickly understand how we are going to create that particular rule. Very important rule and will be very helpful for the development teams, especially for the QAs to notify them that this is this particular issue has been fixed. Go ahead and test it, right? So let's quickly go to the project here. So we'll go to the Jira RCV Jira mobile app and we'll go to the project settings. We are building our rules here and we'll go to the project settings, go to the automation and let's build a rule. Okay, let's create a automation automation rule here click on create rule button and now the first thing we need to add is the trigger right so what trigger when the issue is transitioned to the ready for test right so we'll say transition an issue transitioned okay so we are checking that the issue got transitioned to ready for test right so most probably in QA or ready for test if your Jira workflow is customized to have that ready for test status or uh, the state already in your workflow you will have the ready for test or in QA etc okay so you select whatever is there for your particular project so in this case I have ready for test I've added that and simply save that trigger so as soon as the issue is moved to ready for test then the notification should go okay now before the issue is moved to ready for test we also need to check that the issue that is being moved is a defect right is a bug so we'll add a condition to check that the issue that is being moved to ready for test is actually a bug only then trigger the email right so what we'll do is we'll add a condition right so I uh, cancel that we'll simply say add a new condition and in the condition what we'll check is we'll check the issue field condition okay because we want to check that the issue is a off type bug okay so we'll say issue field condition and in the field we'll use the issue type okay so issue type should be equals to the bug okay only then go ahead and run this particular rule so whenever the issue is transitioned to ready for test it will be checked that issue type is bug and then the rule will be executed okay so now what if this particular case is satisfied then the action okay so we'll add a new action and in the action we want to notify the person who has reported this particular defect right so you most of the time it will be QA but anyone who has reported the defect needs to retest it once the defect is being fixed so we will add a new action here okay and in the action we will simply have this as either we can say assign issue all right but then we want to notify right so we can add multiple actions there as well okay so that's fine let's first create the action which is notification so sending the email right so in the email we can select whosoever is the reporter of this particular issue so whosoever was the reporter of this particular defect we simply want to send an email notification to that particular person so we'll select to the reporter whosoever will be the reporter will be basically assign this particular or email will be notified okay or email will be sent and then we'll simply say issue issue, uh, issue key in the curly braces is say for example whatever subject you want to put there right so we'll say ready for test okay and then we'll put similar in the content of the email but you can put the proper template there with all the details in the email okay so that's the notification the email that will get triggered if the defect is transitioned to ready for test okay then the next thing in this rule we can also do is we can add another action to reassign this particular defect to the original or to the person who has reported it right so we'll add a new action there okay and I want to also assign this issue okay so assign the issue to the let's see if we have the reporter here okay so from here okay yes so from here in the assign the issue to okay so we will simply say specify the user and we select the user here okay so in the user we will simply select whosoever has reported this issue okay so we will simply say issue reporter and then save it okay so now let's reiterate the rule once again 
So what we have built, we have built a rule wherein if the issue is transitioned to ready for test in your workflow and the issue type is equal to bug. Okay, so if bug is transitioned to ready for test, then send an email to whosoever has reported this bug as well as assign this particular bug to whosoever has reported this bug. Okay, so this rule, what this would rule will do is it will basically send the notification to the tester who has reported that defect as soon as this defect has been fixed by developer and moved to ready for test as well as it will be reassigned automatically to the reporter or the tester who has reported this defect okay so these two things didn't need to be done manually okay and it's going to save a lot of overhead and manual effort in the jira hygiene okay so let's save this rule and i'll name it as send notification to tester once defect is fixed okay and simply turn it on we'll keep this to all admins who can edit this rule and simply turn on this rule okay so the rule has been turned on now let's go to the project all right and test this particular rule okay so at the moment you will see that there is a defect okay and if we open the defect you'll see that it is in the blocked state at the moment if we open the defect, who was the reporter? Let's see who is the reporter. So reporter is RCV tutorials, right? So this is the email where the RCV tutorials at Gmail where the notification will go. Okay. And then at the moment, if say, for example, this is at the moment unassigned. Okay. Now say, for example, let me assign it to someone. Okay. So let's say I assign it to a developer. All right. Now, as soon as this particular issue will be fixed, say for example, this particular issue is being worked. Okay. And then developer has fixed this issue and a developer will mention, uh, say for example, comment, this issue is fixed. Okay. Please retest. Okay. So, so developer has put the comment there. All right. And now developer will then move to say for example move this particular issue to ready for test okay so let me quickly move it from here so developer will then drag and drop to ready for test okay so as soon as the developer is going to drop this in ready for test you should see that the reassignment should happen right so you'll see the reassignment of the issue has happened to rcv tutorials automatically right because rcv tutorials or rt was the person who has reported this particular issue and the notification email also went to this particular email the rcv tutorials email right now that email i haven't had this open here but notification is also triggered and available to the person who has raised this particular issue. So you can see that this particular rule is really helpful for the developers because otherwise they would have to move it here then go back to the issue and see who has reported this particular issue and assign it back to that particular person manually. Okay. And if they have to notify or send an email accordingly, they have to do that as well. So that's how this particular rule is going to help the development team to basically track the de defects and reassign the defect to the reporter whosoever has reported and also send the automated emails to the person who has reported the defect. Okay. So that's all for this particular tutorial on how to build a rule to automatically send notification to the testers who have reported the defect and also reassign assign the defects to the tester who are the reportee of the defect. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.